I want to play a quick clip of President Obama uh, reacting to, um, essentially reacting to Donald Trump. Listen in. What exactly would using this label accomplish? What exactly would it change? Would it make ISIL less committed to trying to kill Americans? Would it bring in more allies? Is there a military strategy that is served by this? The answer is none of the above. Calling a threat by a different name does not make it go away. This is a political distraction. Not once has an advisor of mine said, man, if we really use that phrase, we're going to turn this whole thing around. Okay, exactly. Not once. So if someone seriously th thinks that we don't know who we're fighting, if there's anyone out there who thinks we're confused <laughs> about who our enemies are, that would come as a surprise to the thousands of terrorists. Oh, that was a bad edit. That would come as a surprise to the thousands of terrorists that we've taken off of the battlefield is essentially what he said. Debate the strategy. Debate whether or not our strategy is creating more terrorists, right? Debate whether or not you think we should, uh, hell, what did, what did, what did um, one of these campaigns, oh, Ted Cruz said, make the, uh, make the sand glow, right? Debate that. But debating whether or not we're going to call it radical Islam is ridiculous and reactionary and has absolutely zero bearing on how effective or how ineffective of a campaign we're running against ISIS. And allowing the Republican Party and conservatives and Donald Trump to dictate the terms by which we have this conversation means that they are in control. And here I was thinking Hillary Clinton was this Machiavellian level politician. I said it once. I'll say it again. We, they are masters of fighting back against progressivism, but they are noobs at fighting back against conservatism. And I thought. For a minute, it was because they don't legitimately want to fight back against conservatism because they they soft embrace the economic policies of conservatives. Right. And they are neoliberals for the for the love of God. But and they are some of them are neo. Well, well, maybe I just answered my own. Maybe she has no desire to have a substantive conversation about how we fix this because she's just satisfied with what we're doing now dropping raining hellfire down every day all day long and still creating more terrorists by the day yeah maybe i just answered my own damn question 